Hello, hello everybody. Welcome on in. I'm Ori. We are going to be trying out a brand new game that is coming out April 8th to early access and it is called Cast Out Colony. I have not played this yet. We are going to get a fresh look, uh, fresh impressions, blind impressions, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I thought the game looked pretty cool though. It is a roguelike survival game. However, there is uh, supposedly base building in this. And as soon as you said base building, I was like, all right, I'm in. I will give this game a shot. So let's check out the settings real quick, see if there's anything weird like screen shakes. Like I always try to turn that off, uh, show damage, resolution, all that's fine. Okay, let's jump in and try to play this. I hope it's a good one. I haven't even, I don't even think I've seen footage for it other than what was on the Steam page. Hi, don't stand so close to me. I just toot it. Okay. <laughs> okay, game. This is where we're going, huh? Did we get a fat jump? You have been called here to stand trial for your unspeakable crime. What's that? You don't remember what you did? You wore blue on a Tuesday. I have decided that you will be cast out from this colony. Be gone. How dare us. All right, so there, there uh, is a story to this game, uh, apparently. Okay, when, when in arena, enemies will spawn around your character and deal damage on contact. Uh, your character will fight back using skills that auto attack to feed your enemies before they eat you. Some skills require aiming. Rotate your character to line up your attack. Uh, RB when you feel overwhelmed to dash out. Be on the lookout for objects that will help you in your survival. Okay. <clears throat> so auto attack, but not auto aim. Um. Yeah, no, no auto aim. Okay. I generally prefer auto aim, but that's... I'm not totally against it not being here. Okay, so pretty standard stuff right here so far. Okay, ooh, skill types. There are two types of skills. Active skills focus on attacking enemies. Passive skills focus on strengthening your character. You have, skills have different rarities, common, rare, legendary, all that epic. Ooh, mythic, mystic. Uh, you can unlock more skills to add to your skill pool by performing special features in game. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. We have vines sprout out of the ground, making a long vertical whip attack, reduce damage, or we can do a small bee will attack the nearest enemy. Let's do the vine. So it looks like we're probably gonna get six. Hold on, okay. Harness the power of your banishment and use your character's banishing blow. Defeating enemies or collecting special items will fill your banish meter. Unleash this ultra powerful move to death. That looks awesome, right? <laughs> it's like a giant beetle or something that we're summoning. Oh, it's just whirlwind. I wonder if there's a bunch of different ones. Okay, so we level up that. I mean, Whirlwind's not a bad ability. Okay, let's see. Uh, lob an explosive seed behind your character. Quickly fires quickly in the direction you're facing or dash cooldown. Let's try the dash cooldown. That sounds pretty good. So I hope there's different ultimates and all that. I mean, obviously this game is just kind of running us through the tutorial, so probably after this match, we'll get to see what um, what meta progression and what else there is to offer in this game. Okay, base damage up by five. Protective Leafs orbit around the character, or we can upgrade our whip again. Let's keep upgrading our whip. I'd be curious. I'm always curious to see what happens if you're what happens with the level ups. You know, if it's going to give us a an extra whip 
Uh, be on the lookout for larger enemies. There doesn't seem to be any lurking right now, but in other arenas, these tough enemies might be on the hunt for you. After completing the minimum required waves, the way out of the arena will open. At this point, you can leave at any time to collect your spoils or stay and fight until all waves and bosses are defeated. Oh, okay. So did we, did we, we, did we officially win now, it seems like? Um, let's go escape. Just because it told us to, and I want to see what the rest of this game is going to play like. Okay, so there are different characters. Um, okay, so we have Roxy, who's going to start with the Rocket. Uh, she does her banishing blow is a crystal orbit, and she gets projectile speed. What does he do? He gets plus 20% health. Oh, so he's kind of like our tanky character. Oh, yeah, this is sweet. Okay, so this Mecha Green is their Banishing Blow. They get better cooldown. So this guy gets a better... This is like your quick character. They're going to get better dash and longer dashes. Um, This is going to be Area Effect and Pickup Radius. And then plus one projectile. That sounds powerful. That sounds powerful. So you could get up to up to three projectiles plus three on top of what you have. That's really good. Okay, so we can only play as one character for right now. We have no currency. Okay, so here's our cast out colony. Sweet. This is what I want to see. Welcome, traveler. What brings you to this side of the gate? Ah, I cast out from the colony too, huh? Well, well, you're in luck. My name is Antonio. And I'm starting a new colony, a better colony, a colony for all those who have been unrightfully cast out. Cast out colony. The name of the game. Will you help me build it? Hold on. Let me rephrase that. You w yeah, I was about to say you will help me build it. Back in the old stinky unjust colony, I was a master carpenter. Take a look at the blueprint at my crafting table. I'll build you somewhere to stay. Okay, so go to the crafting table to construct your colony with blueprints that you have earned or bought. Uh, switch to edit mode or move to move or destroy already constructed projects. Your colony is a mess. If you need more room to build, interact with the clutter to clean it up. When ready to head out into the arena, interact with your house. Okay, so can I just remove these or do I have to pay to remove these? Man, I want, are they going to make me mine all this rock to clear things out? Although I am getting some sort of currency for this, huh? Okay, we're not going to do all this right now. I'm just going to clear out a little space in case I need a space. Okay, we'll do one more. Oh, and we got to pick the weeds. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see how big this area is too real quick. This is a pretty good size area. Yeah, this is, wow, this is huge. This is way bigger than I would have thought it was. And then what's this? Banish, uh... <laughs> so we got a pizza box. Can I get rid of the pizza box? Probably not, huh? <laughs> oh, you can, but I don't think I... Ha do I need more resources for it? Like, do I need more beetles? More colony people here? Is that what it's trying to say? Wonder if that's the same for these big rocks. Let's see. Yeah, so I think I need a bigger army or a bigger team here to get rid of some of these big rocks. Cool, cool. Okay, let's go. Um, let's go check out the blueprints. Okay, so let's see. Oh my gosh, there's a lot. So I can build structures, foliage, decor, walls, paths, interactables, and specials. Okay, so we can build a structure. Your humble adobe, adobe, uh, return to your home to proceed to an arena. Okay, ooh, yeah, this is cool. <clears throat> okay, so I do have to clear out more area, more space. <clears throat> okay, um... Let's clear out a little bit more space, then. I need to clear out all this area. 
I kind of figured I would need to clear out a space. I dig this. This is sweet. I wonder what kind of like all the stuff you're going to be able to build. And then I'm pretty sure we're going to need to recruit more people to join our colony. Or maybe after time, people will join. Okay, this is probably enough. We'll clear out this last little, like, square area. And I don't think it costs resources to build anything, either. Okay, so now we can build our house. So, yeah, so we can build this right here. Um, how do I rotate? I'm trying to... I'm playing on controller. So I'm trying to figure out how to rotate it. Did I just build it? I did build it. Okay, that's fine. I'll figure it out later. Okay, so that's all I can build right now, right? It's just the house. Yes, yes, splendid spot. Eager for more blueprints, hmm? I'll gladly sell them to you, but I do require a shop first. I'll tell you... If I'll tell you what, if you can somehow raise the colony's enrichment level, I'll let you pick where to build my shop. Until you do that, until you can do that, go check out the house I built for you, yes? Okay, so we're not going to be able to do anything else yet. So this is the currency we need to buy stuff. Let's see if there's anything in our house. Okay, flower coins are used to purchase characters, blueprints, arenas, colony upgrades, and more. To gain more flower coins, choose an arena. How many you receive will depend on your combat performance. The main ways to unlock more skills and blueprints are through playing in arenas and progressing your colony. However, you will only receive new unlockables after completing a run in an arena. Okay, well, how do I do, how do I upgrade stuff? I want to actually upgrade things. So right now it's only letting me... It's only letting me pick an arena to fight in. Okay, well let's just try that. Let's go back to Dark Forest. Total waves, 24. Jeez. Okay, so now we're gonna do... Looks like we're doing a real run now. So what does this give me? Those don't give me anything. So these are... Let's see. Is this health? I can't tell if these are supposed to be health. These trees. Okay. So these are just things we destroy. And they they could give us health. Okay. So let's try... Let's do the whip again. At least out of those abilities. Okay, so we gotta level up our whip. Okay, so we can... Let's try the bee this time. Let's see. A small bee will attack the nearest enemy. Yeah, this is fine. This reminds me of something like, kind of, I don't know, like a brotato, I guess, a little bit. Alright, let's try the venom spit. Let's just get more abilities this time. So I guess technically we only get five abilities because our weapon technically counts as one. We need some big AOE one, that's what I want. Wonder if there's gonna be any other enemy types too, other than ones that just follow us around. 
I re I'm hoping there will be. I'm assuming there will be, too. I would like to see some ranged attack characters. Because then this game's just going to kind of suffer from the same thing some other games suffer from, where I basically just have to walk around in a circle. And that's generally not the funnest gameplay, but we'll see. Like, they need characters that are going to charge at us, characters that are going to shoot at us. Um, you know? Okay, here we go. This is a different type of character. I don't know what they do. They at least do something different, though. Because the one game that suffered from this the most was that one uh, Asgard's Fall that we played a couple times. Basically, just became a cir circle simulator. We just run around in a circle until we die. I don't want. I don't like it when games optimize that as your as your way to play the game. Yeah, it takes a long time for our ultimate to build up, huh? It's only at 29% right now. Okay, what are we gonna get? Level up for our thorns, reduces attack cooldown. Level ups are pretty slow, too. Not that, uh, just an observation. Oh yeah, see, one additional sprout. Perfect. That's the kind of stuff I want. Uh, not that that's a big deal. Uh, I'm not. Some games, <laughs> some games offer too many level ups. Like it's like every, every 10 seconds you're, you're picking a skill. It's like, okay, just let me play the game. on wave five, huh? Okay, let's do the one additional projectile. This game definitely has potential. I need to see what those meta upgrades are, though, at the base. Um, I need to see what kind of stuff... To get full uh, a full opinion of this game, I need to see what kind of upgrades and stuff are going to be offered at our at our colony. I like the different characters. The gameplay is fine. I'm I'm totally fine with this gameplay. Um, I love the base building idea. Just need to see what it has to offer, really. I think it has the the blueprint. As, as this game has blueprints. <laughs> I didn't mean that in that way. But this game does have the, the groundwork to be a pretty solid game here. As long as there's some depth to this base building, then I'll be all for this game. I, I don't think we're going to survive 20 waves, though. 24 waves. We're only at wave 7. Okay, level up here. Okay, let's do... Let's do the vines again. The vines seem to be our better spell, maybe. They just seem pretty powerful, I guess. These plants gathering up is definitely an issue, too. You should probably make sure you attack those and get rid of them. Seems like there's only one sort of level up too for these chests. Um, so base damage increased by 20. 
you know, you're not going to, it doesn't, it looks like it's only going to be one ability. And then it looks like you get some of the flower coins too. You know, there's no, it doesn't look like there's a rarity to, oh, this looks like a boss type character, right? Now the game did say you can escape with your spoils. Does that mean, I'm assuming if I die, do I not, I wonder if I lose my spoils. I w would think not, but. I'm going to assume you don't lose anything if you die. All right, let's do the protective lease. Because we are almost dead here. The level ups are really, really slow here. But maybe there'll be something where we can increase the XP we gain, you know, because most games usually have that where you can increase your percentage. Man, we have to go to 24. There's no way we're surviving. Let's just go as long as we can go for. Okay, let's do... I mean, I don't know if I want to do this one at this point. How many passives are there? It doesn't even seem like there's been a lot of passive abilities showing up. There's probably not a lot of abilities that we have yet, right? Because I don't even... I don't think I've seen six passive abilities show up. And there's got to be way more abilities, too, because we only have... There's only a handful of abilities in the game, too, it seems like, so far. So I'm just going to assume that there's more as we unlock, as we move through the game. Or at least I hope there is. This game still is early access, so... There might not be a ton of stuff in here yet. Oh, look at this guy. Oh no, it's a spider! Arachnophobia mode. I don't have a fear of fight spiders, but... A lot of games do have arachnophobia mode. Okay, we're we're almost dead here. There's a heart. I know there's another heart down here. Let's see if I can get to it. Dodge! Oh, there! Oh no! We're dead. Wave eleven. You were eaten. Okay, so we survived ten waves. 1,600 enemies defeated, level 10, colony bonus 1%. Can I skip this? Oh, look at all these new blueprints we got, though. Uh, oak tree, bush, library, dirt path. Can I not skip through this? <laughs> skip E. Can I not? Oh, skip A. Okay, see, we did get new skills now. It's showing us our new skills. We got stick foo, concussive blast, scurry, hind legs, circulatory system, acorn. Okay. Why is it so slow? Why is that? What? Did you see how slow this was moving up? Imagine waiting all the way to 37,000 or 30, 3,700. Okay, let's go back to our colony. And let's see what we can do now with the stuff we got. Okay, so we're not, obviously we're not going to buy a new character yet. I don't think, oh, we don't need, we almost have enough to get a new character, but let's just do this. Okay, you have new blueprints at your crafting table. Take a look and see what you can build. Uh, 
That looks so cool. The more you build your colony, the higher the enrichment level will become. Your stats will increase with colony's enrichment level. Even if you have open space in your colony, there is a limit to how much can be built. You may use flower coins to upgrade your coins or your colony's capacity. Sweet. This is probably going to give me more things, right? More uh, flower coins, I assume, since it's this velvet color. Yeah, I dig this. This is cool. <laughs> We're definitely going to work up on our town here. I like this kind of meta progression, though. Building a town while getting stronger, uh, playing the game, unlocking new abilities. Uh, it's a fun way to do this versus just, oh, spend 500 coins to get more strength. You know, because that's what most games do. Most games just say, here, here's 500 coins. You get 25 more health now. This game, you actually get to build a little village and it's you're going to be able to kind of dictate what happens a little bit more. See, so right here. Yeah. So from skills to monsters, this is the place to get all your info plus 5% XP when built. OK, then we have bushes place around your colony for enrichment. Uh, no decor yet. No fences. Pass. We got pass. It doesn't look like they cost anything either, which is nice. So you can kind of build as much as you want, at least up until whatever limit that is, you know? So I can build like a garden farm here. Oh yeah, and then you see my my enrichment level slowly going up. That's cool. It's so like I could build like a I could build like a little hedge maze here. Okay. Oh, no. What did that say? What did that? I saw my enrichment level went up. I want to see the stats for that. Okay, let's build. Yeah, this is sweet. This is sweet. Let's just we're not going to spend too much time here with this because I can do all this like I can clean some of this up offline and things like that. But let's let's just build enough to get our like our enrichment level going, right? How do I... Man, I'm gonna have to... My OCD is gonna legit kick in for this, and I'm gonna have to make sure things are... <laughs> things are really organized and nice and, uh... symmetrical. Okay, then what else could we build? There was a structure we could build. Oh my gosh, this is huge. Okay, I'm gonna have to mine out a big area. We can put this up here. So let's let's mine out this. Yeah, this is so sweet. Okay, let's mine out this little area. So it looks like can I just build? Hold on, I'm trying to see what is. Oh, that takes me to my house. Okay, cool. So there's kind of fast travel. Uh, in that left-hand corner, you can fast travel to your house or fast travel to um, the blueprint. That's a good idea. Smart little thing to put in here. should be enough. Oh no, I didn't mean to build it right there. <laughs> oh no, okay. We're totally screwing this up. Okay, so now we can build like a nice little path. Oh no, I can't because that... There's a... gonna build up this is increase no this doesn't increase my enrichment at all wait can 
Can I not build any more path? Cool. Okay. Yeah, let's see. This is sweet. This is cool. So now we walk along the path and we go, let's go check out what this library is. See if there's, can we actually, oh, we can actually go in it. This is so cool. Would you like to learn more about skills and structures? Let's just see what it has. So it looks like there's, yeah, there's a lot of skills here to unlock. Um, oh, and then it shows what the upgrades are too. So for the bees, cool. So you get like, you can get up to three additional bees. You can get cooldown reduction, extra vines. They're all kind of the same upgrades. Base area, uh, additional projectile. Slash behind the character, that's cool. Uh, explodes, additional projectiles. Man, imagine that other character though. The character that gives you up to three. So if you had this, so you get you get like two, you get three additional projectiles for leveling this up. And then for that other character, you get an, another additional three by the time you're level 30. So you'll have like, you'll have seven. You'll be throwing out seven seed bombs. Would you like to learn more how to play? Um, meters, rich. okay, so we already kind of learned about that. Would you like to learn more about monsters? Uh, oh, coming soon, okay, so we don't have that yet. Very cool. Um, I wish I could see what my enrichment level does, though. How can I see that? Is there no way to see what my enrichment level is? Like, I know I can see it here, but what are my bonuses? That's what I want to know. I want to know what my bonuses are, because it, it pops up when you do it. But then I want to see what I actually got. That's a bummer. I wish you could see that. There might be a way to see it. I just don't know where it is. Let's check our house. No, see, our house doesn't show it either. Hmm. All right, we'll have to figure that out. All right, everybody, that's going to be it. This has been Cast Out Colony again out April 8th. Uh, probably by the time I post this, it'll be in two days. Or if you're watching it later, then the game's already out. Uh, I have no idea how much it costs. I was given a key early by the developer. So thank you very much for that. So I could test it out early and put the game out there in the universe for other people to see. Very cool game, though. I am 100% into this game. I will keep playing it for a little while and we'll we'll see how this game progresses through early access because I'm I'm digging it. I the gameplay is fun. I think it'll be more fun, too, as we up level up um, as we unlock more abilities and get different characters and things like that. So, yeah, just that's it's cool. Where is that guy at, though? Is that guy here? Because I thought I could buy more blueprints from him. Is he hanging out around here somewhere? I don't know where he went. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to call it there. All right, everybody. If you enjoy these videos, please drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think of this video. And if you want to see more games like this, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your day.